Tesla, is this a stock you should buy right now? That's what we're going to try to answer here in this analysis video. I like to simplify things, and I'm going to discuss six metrics in this analysis. Earnings growth, PE ratio, dividends, return on equity, free cash flow, and intrinsic value. They're then put on a 0 to 99 grade scale so it's easier to visualize the different numbers I'm going to throw at you in this video. The first five metrics mostly deal with how good of a business we have. No point investing if it's an undervalued piece of crap. That's why I save intrinsic value near the end. Earnings growth is by far the most important metric. A company that doesn't grow doesn't survive for long. Here's what the growth looks like and whether the company is in the process of expanding its business in the future. For PE ratio, most people look at it as a valuation metric. I don't base my intrinsic value on the PE ratio. The PE ratio to me is a measurement of hype. Too high and there's just too many eager eyes on the stock. Too low and we might have a hidden gem. Here's what the hype looks like and whether too many investors and especially speculators are piling in on the stock. Dividends should be an obvious metric and something a lot of people ignore. I'm going to put it out there. If you buy a stock that doesn't pay you anything, you're speculating. You're not investing. Here's what the company is paying based on yield. I'll only consider something a true investment if it can pay me while I own its shares. For return on equity, it tells me a lot about the management. It shows me how efficiently my investment dollars will be treated if I were to buy the stock. Here's how efficient management is when it comes to how they handle my investment, which is a good indicator of whether they can make good use of it to grow their business. Free cash flow is my way to quickly evaluate how dominant of a company we're dealing with. The more cash available, the better opportunities to buy up other companies, the better to research, and more money for marketing. Here's how dominant of a business we have based on the cash coming in, which is what I consider building upon the company's economic moat against competitors. Okay, as I said, these five metrics we just went over tell me what kind of business we're dealing with. And with that, here's what kind of business we're dealing with behind the stock and whether the business is good enough to even continue to intrinsic value or move on entirely. But before we get our intrinsic value, consider joining my Patreon and get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. As I said, we know what kind of business we have, but let's see what the price tells us in terms of attractiveness. Tesla is worth $228 per share. Right now, I'd consider this stock expensive, around 250% more expensive than its stock price as of this video. And now that we've got all the numbers down, we put it all together and get our final grade. When we consider the business accounting for 85% and the intrinsic value accounting for 15%, together, here's the overall grade and my recommendation. But hey, after this video comes out, anything can happen in the next few days, weeks, months, even years. But long term is always longer than you expect. Keep this in mind. It took Warren Buffett 45 years to become a billionaire. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.